Today I will show you what are the best Lightroom and Photoshop export settings for your Instagram photos. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. This is the topic that I've been asked a lot about so I decided to make a video on it. So I got a questions like how to export my photos from Lightroom or Photoshop to be best presented on Instagram, to have best possible quality they can. Or why do I see my photos on my computer screen like really nice and sharp and they're crappy looking on my mobile phone on Instagram account? Or why do they have some artifacts there? Or does Instagram compress my photos? What, what's happening there, etc. So today I will answer all those questions and show you the best possible export settings that you can use to see your photos in the best quality you can on Instagram. So you're probably aware that daily millions of photos are uploaded to Instagram, so that's really huge amount of photos. And for that they need to have big servers with huge storage spaces to store all those photos. And because of that, because they don't have unlimited storage spaces, they made some rules about the maximum image quality, image resolution and size that you can use to upload your photos to your Instagram account. So the rules are really simple. Basically only thing that you need to remember is that the maximum width of the photo is 1080 pixels. So 1080 pixel is the maximum width of your photo that you will upload there. There are three possible orientations. So you have vertical oriented files, square files and horizontal orientated files. And you're aware that Instagram is really busy network. So if you want to maximize chance for your photo to be seen there, you need to use full screen real estate. So that means that you need to use vertical orientation and four by five aspect ratio. But of course you cannot always use vertical orientation and four by five aspect ratio because you sometimes have some horizontal photos or some maybe 16 by nine aspect ratio, etc. So you can use that of course, but your photo will be less visible because it will be smaller on the screen. There are some aspect ratio that Instagram recommends like you can see here on the screen so it says upload a photo with a width of at least 1080 pixels with an aspect ratio between 1.91 by 1 and 4 by 5 of course you can use 5 by 4 you can use 3 by 4 4 by 3 etc and uh, here it says that if you share a photo at higher resolution we size it down to 1080 pixels. So that basically means that Instagram will resize that photo for you using their own algorithm and this is not the best possible solution because you can do it better in Photoshop or Lightroom. So if you're uploading a photo that is higher than 1080 pixels, better do it, better resize it in Photoshop or Lightroom and then upload it, you will have better chance for your photo to be in really good quality. So let's jump straight in Photoshop and let me show you how you can do that. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and for example, this is the file, this is the image that I want to upload to my Instagram account. And I have three possible orientations. I have vertical, square and horizontal. So now I will show you in one really quick example how those three orientations will affect your photo and the visibility of the photo. So first I will copy this photo and go to another document. This is basically a screenshot from my phone, a little bit modified for this example. I will paste photo right here and clip it to this image holder. So this is the space on your Instagram account where your photo will be displayed. So now it's too big. I will just make it smaller. And first orientation is, let's use this horizontal orientation. So we will maintain the full image, image size. Okay, this is the full image size. Everything is visible, full aspect ratio, original aspect ratio of this image. And that's okay, that's perfect you will display a whole photo and you will tell this, uh, the whole story that that photo has. But there is a problem because this photo now it's too small compared to the full screen real estate of uh, the Instagram image holder. So now you need to decide, you need to compromise. Do you want to have smaller photo, less visible in the feed or you want to maybe make it a little bit bigger, maybe you want to use mm, square uh, orientation or even vertical. So let me show you how other orientation will work. So square will make this photo much bigger. So for example, this is a square. Okay. And this will make your photo much bigger, but you are lacking of some parts of the photo. So maybe this part of the story and photo is a little bit more like 
mm, not telling the whole story, but for this one, this can be okay. So if I'm uploading this photo to my account, I will definitely use a swear format because the photo is overall bigger and it's more visible in the feed. So that's important because of course you always want your photo to be more visible in your Instagram feed. Okay, and another way how you can display this photo is in vertical orientation, so it's like this. So for example, I have photo in vertical orientation, but now part of uh, this guy, myself, is cut out, the dog is cut out, and this guy is cut out too. So we can decide, do we want to tell a story like this, or we want to tell a story like this, or we want to make two photos out of this one. So this is first one, and this is second one, so we can go and place it uh, in swipe mode. So we can choose between those things. And as you can see, this four by five aspect ratio will make your photo most visible and the photo will have bigger chance to be visible in a feed when somebody is scrolling through their Instagram feed. So that's where you need to compromise. But this doesn't tell a story at all. This is just some guy here, it doesn't tell a complete story of this photo. So for this one, I will use the square format. Now that I know what I will use, let me show you how I will resize and what settings I will use to export photo to Instagram. All right, guys, let's first check the image size. So let's go to image, image size. And as you can see, the size is way bigger than that Instagram threshold of 1080 pixels. So this is 4,109 pixels. And yes, you can upload this to Instagram, but you don't want that because Instagram will down, then shrink your photo resample it and it will lose the quality because it will use their own algorithms that are not so advanced as Photoshop has. So you want to reduce the size yourself, but not before you crop it. Remember, you always want to crop your files, then resize it. So let's cancel it and let's go to a crop tool right here. And now you need to choose the aspect ratio. So we already know that for this photo, I will use a square format. So I will use one by one and just nudge this a little bit, reposition the frame, something like this will be okay. I'll press okay and that's it. Now we have several options in Photoshop how to export this and how to resize it. So we can go again to image size, okay? And uh, we can just type 1080 and we can go here to resample method, we can use automatic or we can use this bicubic sharper because it's for reduction and press okay and that's it, the Photoshop and made the image smaller, resample it, and it's still a good quality image. Now it's ready to be saved. Now you can save it in basically two different ways. So this is one way how you can first resample it, and then you need to save it like this. Let's go to File, Export, and you can go to Export As or Save for Web. It's a legacy format. So let's go Save for Web. That's the first method. And just choose Preset, choose JPEG High, Okay, here is another way if you didn't resample, didn't make a file smaller, you can do that here and choose again some of this by cubic sharper. That's the best for the file, but we will not uh, resample it. So this will not uh, do not affect the image. So now we need just to go and play with the image quality. So there are a lot of articles and researches on this topic. So to make a long story short, you basically need to set your image quality on 76. So why 76? Why not all the way to 100 to have the maximum quality of your image? Because if you put it on 76, you will lower the image quality. Well, because Instagram algorithm does not only check the image size in pixels, it also check the file size in kilobytes too. So the 76 is supposed to be the higher image quality value that you can put. Otherwise, Instagram will again reduce the file size. Not It will not uh, reduce the, the, the physical dimensions in pixels. It will reduce the file size. It will again compress your image. So that's the reason. So let me show you here. If you put it on 76, you can see that the file size is 534 by 5 uh, kilobytes. So that's something that probably it's okay, I don't know. But if you put it to 80, the file size is already bigger, it's 600K. If you put it all the way to 100, you will have over a megabyte big size. So that's why 76 is like a sweet spot for your image settings. So let's go back to 76 and now I can press okay and save it 
save it somewhere on my computer and that's one method. So I will cancel this. Another way is to go to file, export and export as. You have similar dialog box, you have again JPEG, choose the JPEG, choose uh, 76, not 176 but 76. Then uh, here you can resize it if you want, uh, etc. And make sure that you convert your files to sRGB. So for example, if this is not in sRGB, maybe it's in Adobe RGB, go to edit, convert to profile and choose here destination space sRGB and press OK and you're done. Because you will, uh, otherwise your colors will shift a little bit and you will have different colors on your image. Okay, we are done with Photoshop. Let's just go quickly into Lightroom and let me show you the Lightroom settings how you can use Lightroom to export your photos for Instagram. Right guys, we are here in Lightroom and for example, we want to export this photo to Instagram. And this is one of my favorite photos that I made. I love this photo for so many reasons. So this is a portrait oriented photo and here I can use a whole screen real estate and that aspect ratio of four by five. So as you can see here, this photo is way bigger than Instagram allows, so we need to resize it. We will do that later. And if you don't see the uh, your image size, etc., you just need to press I on a keyboard and you will see those uh, settings here. Okay, first let's crop it. Let's go here to a crop tool and choose the aspect ratio of four by five. In case you want some other aspect ratio that is not listed here, you just need to go to enter custom, enter it and press okay, you're done. So I will choose four by five and this is good. So just maybe, maybe like this, press enter and I'm done. This photo is now ready to be exported and resized. So how to export, just right click, export, and go to export here. And we have export dialog box. So here we have few settings if we want to change. First is the export location. So we need to specify a location where we want to export our files. So we can choose specific location, maybe folder where all our Instagram photos are. Or we can choose the same folder as original photo. So I will choose that. And maybe I will put in some subfolder Instagram. Okay. And then we can rename files. I will not rename it. Okay, and here we have uh, video options. I don't want to do that because this is a photo. And this is the important part. So file settings. We want to set the format to JPEG and color space to sRGB. And then the quality, as you remember, put to 76 and that's it. Now we need to resize it. So we can just type something by something, but that's not good. It's better to choose short edge or long edge. So short edge, we want to make short edge 1080 pixels. So short edge in this portrait orientation is that uh, width of the image. So width of the image needs to be 1080 pixels in all situations, in all orientations. So in this case, we want to set short edge to 1080 pixels. In case that this photo is horizontally orientated, then we want to set a long edge to 1080 pixels because the long edge is the width of the photo. Okay, now is the short edge, 1080 pixels, resolution 72. We can sharpen it for screen, low, standard or high. I don't want to sharpen it because this photo is already sharpened in Photoshop. And we can choose to put watermark or not. I don't want it. So I will just put, I will just click export. And now I can just put this photo in Photoshop and just check the resolution. As you can see, this is 1080 by 1350 so this is ideal 4 by 5 aspect ratio and now if I put this to my Instagram feed you can see that this perfectly fits the screen real estate like this and the whole photo is visible so I just maximize the chance for my photo to be visible in a feed. Right guys, so that's it. It's really simple, it's basic. Yes, this video was a little bit longer, but I want you to understand the principles about resizing and uh, choosing the rotation of your photo. So I hope that you like it, that you learned something new from it. And if you have some questions regarding to this episode, please leave them down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer them. Right guys, have fun, practice, and see you in my next fun tutorial. Bye-bye.